Hello YouTube and welcome to my first Let's Play for Starbound. In this video, I'm going to be trying to highlight as much um, new content as I can, um, especially what's in the nightly, and I will be trying to, to cover everything that's uh, been going on in the last maybe six months or so. Just for those people who haven't played Starbound, um, haven't gotten back into it in that time, you'll see everything that's new. So the first thing you might notice that's uh, that might be new for some people is that there's uh, the seventh race is in the game now. Um, their name is Nova Kids, and they are basically gas people. <laughs> and I've already pre-created a character here, so we're gonna play. Um, we're gonna play on normal, and let's get started. So after you create your character, you just gotta click on them again, and you get this new quest that pops up. I don't remember how I got here. My ship has been damaged. I'll need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. So you accept your quest, and uh, as you can see, there's one big flashing E right here. It's because they want you to come over here and press E. Um, your ship's all glitching out, error, error, all sorts of stuff. And then you click reboot, it just says reboot a bunch of times. It says boot initialized, new super user acquired. Hello, thanks for that. I am Sale, and I'll be helping you out. I have restored the backup power for you. The thrusters and FTL drive are still offline. We should start by enabling your matter manipulator. You click on it, it says, Your matter manipulator is an awesome way of interacting with the world. I can try and enable it for you. And there you have it. Your matter manipulator is now enabled. Um, it worked. The matter manipulator enables you to pick up, move, and collect objects and material. Next thing we want to do is enable our teleporter. It says, I can turn the ship's teleporter, short range teleporter on, and it'll take you to the planet below. Be careful down there. Alright, now it says, the first thing I should do is check the ship's locker. At the very least, I'll need a flashlight, but there should be some other supplies in there too. And just to see uh, what happens if you go to repair thrusters, he says, I can repair the thrusters with the ship's auto repair module, but I'll need 20 core fragments from the planet below. Alright. So let's go over to our locker over here. There's the flashlight they asked us to get. A flashlight, a weapon, and a few torches for good measure. Time for me to head down to the planet. It's time to make a crafting table. I should beam down to the planet and use my matter manipulator to fell trees for wood. Then press C to open my crafting menu and see what I need. Alright, so let's just put the flashlight and our pistol up here, and our rifle and our torches, and head down to the planet. Alright, so this is a, a planet I have been to before. Um, the last time I was here, I totally missed this chest. Uh, <laughs> I was making a video of it, so that's how I know. <laughs> um, so that was pathetic. But that's good news because it means I got to get uh, a few materials on this world. So last time I went to the left and I made a mine over there. So this time, um, so that it's basically new, I'm going to go... Uh, actually, I went to the right, sorry. I'm going to the left this time. Um, just to make sure that I don't cover the same ground. Alright, now one of the things I can show off is uh, the new cave system. Um, as you can see, through that wall there was another cave. There are a lot more caves now um, in Starbound, and you can travel a lot farther. Wow, this gun is pretty quick. Not very accurate, though. <laughs> the other thing you might notice is uh, how quickly my energy bar uh, kind of uh, recharges. So, in the uh, current version of Starbound, they've done a little combat update. You can uh, keep shooting guns significantly longer. Most part it depends on the gun, of course, but um, as you can see, if you stop shooting, it only takes about a second for your energy bar to go all the way back up and almost empty. Now, if you completely empty your energy bar, the only difference is that it's slightly slower and you cannot um, shoot at any time. You have to wait until it fully charges. So, that's the only reason you don't want to really let it empty because you become a little bit more vulnerable. But you're uh, able to keep shooting your gun as long as you kind of do it in bursts. So um, that's a lot better. You don't have to keep uh, worrying about 
your energy bar always depleting and being useless in combat because even if you do deplete it, it'll only be uh, a second before you get it back. So I, I have noticed that the guns feel a little bit less powerful, but they do feel a little bit uh, easier to use since you have a lot more uh, leeway to miss. Um, in the old versions of Starbound, you would often have it where you'd shoot with your gun and if you missed, you were dead. <laughs> Especially if the enemies were a little bit more powerful than you were. Um, if you didn't hit your gun, you'd be out of bullets and pretty much die. There we go. Uh, the downside of starting with a Nova Kit is unless you find a melee weapon off the bat, you are stuck with only guns, so there's no um, melee combat for you. I'm just going to collect all these uh, finds to kind of show off the uh, important new item that you, you get right here. So the bandages, everyone probably remembers, um, you use them to heal. There's also now climbing ropes that you use. So let's just uh, craft the torches, and then here we go, our climbing ropes. So the climbing rope um, is like uh, a grappling hook, but it's a single-use grappling hook. So I'll show you it really quick up here, but after we check out this... Okay, so this might be a better place to show it out. So you kind of can shoot it while you're standing or jumping or whatever. And there you go, you can float, you can swing on it a little bit, and then you can, you can like lower yourself down into a cave. It reacts to blocks like by going around them like this. So you can kind of use it to give yourself a little bit of momentum in that direction if you want. Oops. The bandage, as you can see, just heals the empty like uh, <laughs> accidentally used it, but that's alright. You can make um, both of those using the plant fibers that you get from breaking down those vines. And as you can see, the vine, uh, the cave system is a little bit more um, expansive than it used to be. This is a much bigger cave with more directions you can go in um, than we're used to. Alright, so there doesn't seem to be uh, all that much of a path down in this uh, cave, so we're going to go on and see if we can't find them a way down. Actually, I think we might want to get some more. Oops, that was not. <laughs> that wasn't a good one. So sometimes those uh, little capsules will give you buffs, like the light buff I have on and the healing buff I had before. And sometimes they blow up in your face or poison you. Um, they've removed the feature where they used to just outright kill you if you clicked on them wrong. So uh, feel free to do that in the nightly. Um, they're, they're not. I'm actually pretty sure that that's stable too now. Um, they're not as dangerous as they used to be, where it used to be basically you either die or you get a buff. Um, now it's you get a debuff or you get a buff. It's not as de as deadly and it's worth the risk in most cases. Um, there's a lot of good ones. There's one buff that's not really a buff. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It just kind of makes you floaty. Um, <laughs> which doesn't necessarily help you. It could, but it doesn't really uh, do much. So that one's not that great. but. The healing buff is really good, especially if you're like me and you take a lot of damage. Um, and the uh, light buff is very good because you can do a lot more exploring with it. I like to run into a cave when I have the light buff on um, and try to get as deep as I can. I'm just grabbing some coal here because uh, I want to be able to go pretty deep in the cave without having to stop. So in this case I'm grabbing coal and wood first. So that uh, if I do go down there and find a good cave, I don't have to come back. Alright, so now it's starting to rain. Um, the other thing that you guys might have noticed by now that's uh, new is that there's a background um, that's new for this world. And this is a starting world, and it has a unique uh, feel and background. I think it's called the Grasslands Planet. Um, I'm not 100% sure about that, uh, but basically it's uh, the easiest planet, it's very uh, friendly, um, the, the enemies aren't that strong, as, as you can see I've gotten hit a few times and I haven't really suffered all that much, even though I don't have armor, and it has this kind of a peaceful background um, look, so when you start off you always start on the same one, no matter what character you're using, which uh, some people don't like, 
but it basically means that you can set up a little base for, if you want for your um, new characters or just a quick way to get uh, out of the early game. And I think the main reason why they've done that um, same planet is because the there was an issue um, when they added four fragments as a requirement um, to going uh, out into space for the first time. Uh, the, you need to repair ship thrusters with these core fragments, um, and if you're starting the game and you've already kind of done that, it can feel kind of grindy, and a lot of people didn't like having to do it over and over again. Um, so, I'm not sure if it's going to stay in the final uh, final version that you keep the same planet, or if you get a choice, or what happens, but I do know that, for the most part, it has uh, a good purpose. I mean, a lot of people don't like it because they wanted to start fresh with every character and do everything all over again. But um, there were a lot of complaints about people who were not happy having to go get those core fragments every single time on new characters. So I think that's kind of a good compromise. You can still go a different direction if you want on your new character. Um, or if you are the kind of person that doesn't want to do the early game again, you can always just leave a whole bunch of stuff for yourself. So we're just using a climbing rope to get down a bit here. It's not necessarily a good idea for me to just uh, be using the light from my light buff because I am going to need to come back up. If you log out in Starbound now, it doesn't just put you um, back on the surface or in your ship. It actually puts you uh, right where you were. So I can just demo that in a second. Oh no, that was a hole. And these new capsules kind of uh, give you your items that you used to get from chests. There are still chests, as you can see earlier at the very beginning of the video, when I got that chest. Um, but now those capsules kind of take over for the most part. Well, I'm going to wait till my light buff deep, uh, just gets out of here, and then I'm going to show you guys what happens if I log out and log back in. You see I'm in the same place. There are still a few bugs with that. Um, there are these things called challenge doors now. Um, they're brand new, so they, they haven't really had time to hash out all the bugs, but uh, if you do log out while you're in one of those, you will spawn back on your ship. But if you um, log out while in a cave, or um, if you log out, like, basically anywhere on the world, the far side of the world, or whatever, you'll, you'll spawn back there. So you don't have to worry about finishing up the whole planet before you log out, which you kind of had to before, if you didn't want to lose progress. Um, or lose your place. So there's a lot more uh, flexibility in that way. So as you can see, this cave has already brought me um, quite deep, and it keeps going. Um, so we found this thing right here. Um, it looks like some copper sticking out of uh, a stone. That's basically what it is. Um, this is an ore node. There's a bunch of different colored ones, uh, and whatever color they are, they give you uh, that ore. So I think it's, it's going to be copper. There you go. Two three copper ore, um, and those are for the people uh, who don't like mining at all. Uh, they put those in uh, for people who just hate to mine. Uh, they're not a whole lot of them, uh, I've noticed. You can kind of get uh, resources with them. I, I don't think that they're really that great. There's a big one right there. Those, those give a bit more. And I, I found the big ones sometimes will give you multiple types of ore, so that, that's uh, a little bit of an added bonus if you find one of those. Let's see what this gives us. So it gave me six copper. So unfortunately, it didn't give me as four. Um, but I have had them do that. Oh, so there's another small one over there. Grab that. And another three copper. So there's just a, a little bit of um, ore that you can add on. There's not uh, a whole lot that you get from them, but. And they're not that common, but I think they're just for people who really don't like to, to do what I'm doing right now and just dig up the ore they see. And they would rather just run around smashing things and shooting things until they get um, what they want and they can explore and find more. Oh, that was probably not a good idea to just jump in there. Okay, I see the bottom here. So I'm getting pretty deep now. As you can see, I haven't had to stop really since I got in this cave. Oh, there's another one. And uh, you, you probably noticed how different the caves feel from the original Starbound caves. 
so I, so far I found all of these, but I think they're all copper. I haven't even found a single ore node that gives me anything but copper. They, they do definitely do that. I found silver ones for sure. Um, I believe there's something with iron, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen gold as well. Obviously, those would be rare. So we finally found the end of our cave. We're probably very close to the uh, the core right now, so that's all right. We can handle a little bit of mining. Um, we'll probably find another cave. <laughs> Speak of the devil, there it is. Um, before we hit the bottom, because like I said, the caves are very expensive now. You find caves all the time. It's much, much uh, more similar to maybe like Terraria, where um, you rarely would have to mine straight down without finding a cave. You would always find caves if you did that. Um, it's pretty much got the same feel. Like basically the the world feels like Swiss cheese at this point. There's always caves, <laughs> which is great. I love that um, addition. Unfortunately, that is only in the nightly at the moment. It'll be in the next update, I think. Comet update that's coming next um, for stable. But that's already in the nightly. If you uh, do want to check out the new caves, that's where you need to go. Um, Starbound is actually split now into multiple um, branches, so you can, um, instead of using your old Starbound that's uh, on the stable version, you can actually have the nightly version or unstable version at the same time on your Steam account. Um, so that's what I have, you know, you have, uh, I have the nightly on my unstable version, and then I have the stable version, which is always stable. Um, that way I know which characters I'll be able to keep and which characters I might lose. It's very uh, helpful in that way. Rather than before where I would go back to stable and all these characters I hadn't seen in forever would pop up and I'd be like, oh, I forgot about these guys because I'm always playing nightly. <laughs> so we're almost there, I'm sure, to the core. Um, when we get there, uh, we're just going to need to get 20 of these core fragments. Now usually, by this point, you'd probably have gone back to your ship and operated your matter manipulator. Uh, I haven't done that because... Oh, here we go, a cave. I haven't done that because um, I like to just go straight down. I think it's a little bit faster. If I went up and upgraded my uh, matter manipulator, I would have to mine copper and then come back to the surface and use it to upgrade my matter manipulator and then come back down. I like to just go down and then fight my way back up and then hopefully have all of the things required uh, afterwards. So this machine pistol we just found is a little bit better. It costs a little bit more energy though. And it's definitely cooler, so we're going to use it. Alright, so uh, I'm going to start the next video at this point. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.